Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. This is Psst, 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 Psst. Victor. <laughs> and Nicole, where are and you? Bottles. We are in our car, uh, ready to leave and do some errands before I tackle a big order of macaroons. This week, you guys, a lot is happening. It's uh, it's the week of my birthday, so I will be prepping for that. I am not celebrating. And this week we are packing up and leaving for vacation, camping. So that's going to be exciting. I will try to take you through as many things as I can. And I will show you what I do on my daily basis uh, off YouTube. So come along. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> We're back from the store I am ready to tackle my macaroon order so I'm gonna show you how I bake I might not explain in detail what I do but I will try my best so let's go transfer ourselves into my kitchen I prepped all of my ingredients ahead of a time and we have 38 milliliters of water 150 grams of sugar two dishes with egg whites each dish has 55 grams of egg whites 150 grams of almond flour and 150 grams of powdered sugar sift your almond flour and powdered sugar and you might have some of almond flour big chunks left since i am making raspberries macaroons right now i want to add some food coloring so i'm taking one of the dishes where i have 55 grams of egg whites i am adding five drops of pink food coloring be aware that when you're going to be baking your macaroons your color will fade a little bit taking my fork and mixing those egg whites with my food coloring doesn't have to be perfectly mixed but give a good stir looks great grab your dry ingredients i like to make a well just a little bit and pour your egg whites in there set it aside in a small saucepan combine granulated sugar and water saucepan on a medium heat and use a candy thermometer to measure temperature of your syrup while my syrup is warming up I am putting the rest of my egg whites 55 grams into my mixer adding a pinch of salt and waiting until certain temperature in my syrup when syrup reaches 230 degrees Fahrenheit, you need to start whipping your eggs. When syrup reaches 244 degrees Fahrenheit, pour it over the whipped eggs right away while mixing your eggs. syrup into your egg whites continue beating until the bowl has cooled slightly and glossy stiff peaks have formed perfect put your warm egg whites meringue into your sifted flour and those egg whites with coloring and start mixing everything until ribbon stage not to over mix just go from the bottom to the top and in the middle kind of trying to mix everything really good I like to scrape my spatula once in a while just because I want to incorporate everything Make sure you scrape the sides of your bowl and bottom of your bowl to make sure nothing sticks to, to your bowl and everything is incorporated nicely. Once in a while, pick your batter with your spatula and see the flow of your batter. This is a little too thick. All 
Alright, we're getting close. When you pick up your batter and it flows without breaking like a ribbon, it's ready. So, we're almost there. Even flow, do you see that? Beautiful. Transfer your batter into your piping bag. I like to use cylinder vases. I bought this vase from Dollar Store. It's a lot easier to pour your batter into your piping bags this way. And I have a tip, round tip. This one is Wilton number 12. I lay a towel and I have my cooking sheet over here with my macaroon templates, my silicone mat on top. I drew these templates myself to the size that I want my macaroons to be. It took quite some time. I'm starting to pipe my macaroons. piping I need to drop my pan a few times against my table just to get rid of some air in my cookies To bake your macarons for 17 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. My oven is off by four degrees. You guys, it's a huge deal for macarons. I had such a tough time with macarons before knowing about oven thermometer. I tried so many recipes. I was baking them for about two to three years until I mastered my macarons. It sounds like, oh my word, I'm not gonna be able to uh, bake macarons. No, you can absolutely learn really fast, but I was looking for a perfectly perfect recipe for me. This recipe that I'm using might not work for you. Some different recipes might work. So if you are willing to spend some time and find that recipe that works for you, that's amazing. Keep on looking. You'll get there. And uh, you guys, those four degrees gave me such a trouble until I bought an oven thermometer. And let's go see how they're doing in my oven. are completely cooled right now I can peel them off a very easy and my mat will be clean I like to put my paired macaroons somewhere aside lay one like this and the other one like that it will be a lot easier for me to pipe and pair them later on can find a pair as you can see here uh, the bottom shell is a little bit larger than this one which is okay but I like to keep my shells really really matched in size I will put these two aside and see if I can find a pair for them a little bit later to make my frosting so I have a little bit more than a cup of uh, fresh raspberries over here and I am working my raspberries through a sieve I am doubling up the recipe for my frosting this recipe calls for a cup of raspberries so I'm putting just a little more and working to get all the juices out out of raspberries and get rid of all the seeds that raspberries have and here is what you will be getting. As I said, I am doubling up this recipe. So I have one stick of butter. I am adding a little bit of salt, like a pinch or so, and starting to whip my butter until pale yellow fluffy butter. My butter looks nice and fluffy. It's a light yellow. I am adding three fourths cup of powdered sugar i put two three-fourths cups in here because as i mentioned a million times i'm doubling up the recipe and starting very slowly incorporating my powdered sugar into my butter because once you turn that mixer on right away on full speed you'll end up in a cloud of 
powdered sugar. So start really slowly, kind of mixing with your mixer and then turn on your mixer on a low, low speed. Once in a while I like to scrape the sides of my bowl to make sure everything is incorporated nicely. It's well combined. Now we need to add six tablespoons of our raspberry juice. Mix. Don't panic if you see your filling like this because I did when I just started using this recipe. Just keep mixing until everything is very nice and fluffy and well combined. To pipe I am using Wilton 21 piping tip you can use whatever you want I just want it to be a little more fancy <laughs> and uh, piping and sandwiching them together look at this beautiful One batch of macaroons will give you 47, around 47 macaroon cookies. It all depends how big you will pipe your shells or how small. So this is one of my flavors that I need to do today. I'm doing pistachio right now and uh, um, not counting this, I need to make four more flavors. I am done with my raspberry macaroons, they are in the fridge. I am done baking all of my cookies for pistachio macaroons. I did made a filling for my pistachio macaroons, but that filling needs to really, really cool down and harden before I can fill my cookies with the filling. Now I am off to my third flavor, coffee. And uh, yeah, you guys, two more, not counting coffee. It's gonna be a long night. And plus to that, I am uh, planning to cook a cake. Cook, bake a cake. I am done baking all of my macaroons. I don't want to bake a cake today because it's 1 a.m. right now and I want to get some sleep. So I cleaned my kitchen, as you can see. I will pack up the order tomorrow and uh, uh, give the order tomorrow, obviously, because obviously no one's gonna come and pick it up at 1 a.m. Yeah, see ya very soon. Good morning, you guys, day two. So it's Tuesday, we are up. We are eating and leaving for Nicole's haircut. And then I'm coming back home and I am planning to finally bake a cake. So you guys, I am making a simple uh, cheese omelet. Nothing special, but it's my and Victor's favorite in the morning, especially. All right, moving on to my coffee. I love to make lattes. This thing. Revel, I don't know how to pronounce this. This machine, I love it so much. I stopped going to Starbucks as much as I used to. And honestly, the best coffee ever. I will be using these cups that I bought on Amazon. These are double glass cups. They are stunning. I broke, I believe, three of them. So I need to order one more set because yeah, I like to have a lot of cups for a lot of people when people come over, so. I usually drink my uh, lattes coffee with uh, almond milk. I recently switched to oats milk, so this is very, very good, you guys. I get this at Walmart. This is a plain original uh, oats milk, and it's so good. It is so creamy. I used to get almond milk, this one, this one is my favorite, original unsweetened. I used to be very little and I trained myself, I guess trained, <laughs> sounds weird, right? To drink coffee, tea, anything hot without sugar. 
And till this day, I am drinking coffees, teas without sugar or any types of sweeteners. Usually what I do in the mornings while I'm eating my breakfast, I go through all of my emails and uh, all of the YouTube statistics and things like that to kind of catch up with everything. And then I go on with the day filming or cleaning and cooking, whatever I need to do that day. So emails time. And by the way, my omelet is totally cold right now. <laughs> by the time I make my coffee, it's cold. I don't have a lot of emails today. And I really want to try these brownie griddle chocolate chip. We got it uh, from Costco. I don't know. Oh man, these are like cookies. Look at this. Mm. Very crunchy, but very good. It's good? You like it? Alright, Nicole got her hair cut. Do you like it? Of course. <laughs> we decided to stop by at the store. We are ready. I want to buy flowers and do an arrangement real quick for tomorrow. So ready guys? Yeah! Let's go! getting to baking my cake I'm not gonna show you the whole tutorial on how I bake this cake this is a royal cake it has four layers you can make your layers whatever you want I am going by the recipe adding poppy seeds macadamia nuts chocolate vanilla so I will try if I will forget to link this recipe in the description under the video this recipe is from Olga's flavor factory and uh, This is my husband's favorite cake. It's a very thick Cake very good cake and it goes amazing with a cup of tea or coffee So it's my husband's favorite cake, but I'm baking <laughs> For my birthday now uh, to be honest. I love cakes that have uh, poppy seeds or nuts. That's my ultimate favorite cakes ever. So that's what I'm doing right now. is done it might not look pretty i'm terrible at decorating cakes but it will taste phenomenal cake is in the fridge i have no idea how many times i washed the dishes today i can't feel my feet i still want to wash the floors but it's gonna be later when everyone's gonna go to bed so right now i'm sitting down to eat i'm eating borscht yes and I'll sit down for a little bit. Whew. All right, so it's almost 10 p.m. right now. I'm done cleaning. Now I wanna quickly do my nails. They're gonna take take um, quite some time. Wish me luck. It's gonna be a long night. I am finally done with my nails. It's 1.20 in the morning. And I think these came out pretty good. So I've done my nails for my camping as well for the beach. And by the way, I am using this sun UV light that I bought on Amazon. And these guys over here, Joe Len, um, base coat, 
this is the color that I used today. This is 237 and my top coat. All right, let's go. Let's go to bed because I'm tired. Hey, you guys. Good morning. I am up and ready to do a few things around the house, maybe film a video. I will be going eating breakfast, even though it's not a breakfast anymore. It's a brunch right now. It's <laughs> pretty late in the morning, if I can say that. I will be making a salad and uh, I will probably go and do a few things, uh, like returning a few things from Amazon, back to Amazon. Hey you guys, haven't checked in with you in quite a while. It's been one hectic day because I decided to go and film. We are, or I am getting close to when my parents will come. And uh, yeah, you guys, I am currently just finished making a salad, a very, very good recipe. Um, crab sticks, imitation crab sticks, uh, some boiled, hard boiled eggs, celery, shrimp and mayo oh and corn canned corn so good you guys so when i was filming video really good friend of my mom she brought me these beautiful flowers and this present over there thank you so much to Taluda. thank you i don't know if you're going to be watching this video but thank you so much and here is the situation hey guys hey she got hurt. Look at her. Aw. Poor little girl. Aw. She was riding a... What were you riding? Skate, skateboard. She was riding a skateboard and she was sitting on, on her knees. So she... I guess... I don't know what happened, but her face went forward and planted on uh, a sidewalk. It wasn't a pretty view when she ran up and started crying. So... Yeah, about to wash this huge watermelon, cut it up, let's go. Beautiful, smells so good. done cleaning up everyone left I am in my PGs and I feel comfortable I hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you for being with me and celebrating my 30th birthday with me I wish you all the best and I will see you back very soon bye